Hello everyone. 8th May every year is celebrated as International Thalassemia Day to commemorate the struggle of the children who are suffering from thalassemia as well as to honor the medical personnel who are continuously fighting against thalassemia. So this year the theme is Be Aware, Share and Care. It seeks the contribution of each and every person at their individual level to fight against thalassemia. It also seeks to the power, it appeals to the power of knowledge and awareness against thalassemia. See, almost all of us uh, have heard the term thalassemia and we know it's a severe disease. But how many of us who are not attached to medical field actually know what is thalassemia, how does a child acquire thalassemia. There lies the gap through which each and every day the number of thalassemia patients is increasing worldwide. So come let's try today to understand thalassemia in very simple words. Thalassemia is an inherited disease which passes down from one generation to the next generation. For any child to have thalassemia, he or she needs two affected genes of thalassemia, one from each parent, one from father and one from mother. Now, after having these two genes, the child will have thalassemia after birth. There are different types of thalassemia, some are very minor, in which case there might, may be a very mild symptom or the child may be asymptomatic up to later part of the childhood or up to adulthood. But in the major form of thalassemia, the child will show symptoms after a few months of birth. What happens in thalassemia? In thalassemia, there is faulty production of hemoglobin in our body. So that the faulty hemoglobin or the RBC, red blood cell, which contains the hemoglobin, breaks down very fast. So the child who is having this faulty hemoglobin, who is having this thalassemia, they will suffer from anemia. As I told earlier, in minor cases, it may be very mild, but in major cases, in major thalassemia, the anemia can be very, very severe. The child may have um, fatigue, weakness, respiratory difficulty, uh, then improper, inadequate growth, palpitation, and it may affect the other organs of our body, including heart. So, the child will need multiple blood transfusion to survive. Now, this multiple blood transfusion has its own side effects that can cause uh, iron overload, that can cause uh, acquirement of any infection, for example, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, etc. And thalassemia can also cause different hormonal changes in the body which can lead to hypothyroidism, diabetes mellitus as a complications of thalassemia. So in not cell, this is thalassemia. Now let's try to understand how thalassemia passes from one generation to the next generation. As I told, to have thalassemia, one person or one child needs one pair of thalassemia affected gene, one from each parent. Now if any child will have only one gene of thalassemia from any of the parent and other gene being normal, then the child or the person will be thalassemia carrier. That person will not manifest any symptoms of thalassemia but he or she has the potential to pass this thalassemia disease to the next generation. So, any adult before planning a child should undergo thalassemia screening along with his or her spouse to understand whether he or she is a carrier of thalassemia gene. If you and your spouse both are thalassemia carrier, then each of your children will have 25% chance of having thalassemia. So before planning a child, 
please go to your doctor and screen for thalassemia along with your spouse that obviously you can do at your individual level next if you have any child in your family who is having thalassemia then all the family members both from mother side and father side should go for thalassemia screening to find out who is the thalassemia carrier so they can plan their uh, children their family accordingly now next once the child is having thalassemia as i told if i if this is of major form of thalassemia the child will need multiple blood transfusion to survive uh, throughout his life now uh, giving multiple blood transfusion uh, is an economic burden in our country for that uh, various ngos and thalassemia societies are available in our country almost in every city and town including hyderabad and thalassemia blood transfusion is available in almost all government and private hospitals so if you are any uh, children of your family is having thalassemia please don't ignore and uh, go to government hospital or private hospital or thalassemia society uh, according to your comfort level this thalassemia society they also arrange uh, blood transfusion either free or with very nominal fees for the children who is coming from uh, economically weak part of the society so now uh, don't ignore the uh, child please go to uh, the hospital go to uh, contact the ngo or go to some private or government hospital and regular follow up is necessary because thalassemia child will have multiple complications throughout their life that is very important lastly nowadays bone marrow transplantation is available for thalassemia affected child again which is available in almost all the cities of india including hyderabad so where we try to remove the gene we, which is producing faulty hemoglobin in our body and replace it with a new perfect gene so for that you please contact your pediatrician obviously your pediatrician will guide you accordingly so know about thalassemia know how does this thalassemia spread from one generation to the another generation go for screening if you have any child in your family or in your locality or among your friends then don't ignore or uh, do regular follow up with doctor if possible go for bone marrow transplantation let's try to have a thalassemia free world thank you visit virinchi hospital for evidence based treatment